Praise to the Shadow. You are here. I was getting worried about you. What's going on, scum? Kane is moving to take power. He came with dozens of followers, killed many who stood in his way, threatened to do the same to countless more. As for you and I, Phobos, I promise that he has already planned our deaths. Zachariah, it is not my life I worry for. He will kill any and all who stand against him. He will wipe out human cities, destroying those with little more than sticks and rocks to defend themselves. Blood will drench this planet. And I'm sure all our names are probably top in the list. And we better make a move before it's too late. One of my ostriches is limping. I think she's hurt. to stop potential disruptions to the bloodbath they have prepared. I know of another way in, though. Follow me. Holy shit, that was a slaughterhouse. What made that psycho turn on his own people? Here I was thinking that every problem could be solved if you had big enough backup. That's how it should be. Unfortunately, people can't be stopped from stepping up and taking what they want. Change, Cain! Is your only path the one stained with blood, paved with hate? The same hate destroying your own people! Look around! This valley was once filled with peace, but it's now filled with gravestones! You cannot continue to lead our people down this road! You have gone too far, Cain. Fight someone your own size. <laughs> Kill him. Even if his heart pumps with pure hatred, spilling it makes the snow better than he. It ensures more blood will follow. Please, be better than he is. Scum, if I were as good as you, I would not be me. And that is all I can be. One cannot continue to trim a weed that will not stop growing and spreading its seeds. One must rip it out by the roots. He will start wars among us. Or between us, he cannot live another breath. Glad we taught that prick asshole Kane a little lesson. Scum's a good guy, though, even if his name sucks. It's gonna be hard to become cheap with a name like that, even though he'd make a good one. Why aren't you running, Phobos? I have no interest. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely.
Zachariah, you are living proof that our people can live in harmony. You have helped us enormously, but now I believe it is time to make a decision. We must present a chief to the assembly. The time for speaking, I am afraid, is dwindling. If our internal quarrels give rise to conflict within our own, we need someone to unite us. We must walk as one race, place differences aside. Then it should be you. There is no mutant who lacks respect for you. And unlike Cain, your leadership will not spill blood. As a strategist, though, you are greatly respected as well. Perhaps it is you who should run. I'm not one of you, but I've traveled with you, Phobos. I've seen what you bring. You could be the chief they need. Now. At least think about it. And I believe you would feel such a role much better than I. I have wisdom, yes, but yours comes with the rigors of youth, which I lost some time ago. If both of you, in your hearts, truly believe it is best for us all, then... Yes, I will run and see then what the people have to say. Zack, thank you for your support. I will always be here to lend you aid, whenever you should need it. And I pray that you will find peace. Thank you, Phobos. I wish you the same. And a little luck for both of us. Friends! Brothers! Most know me. I am Phobos. I was one of the first seeds of our nation. I lead the fight for the deliverance of our race. Together, we fled from the corporations. We built our homes in this valley and forged it into our promised land. But our fight is not over. Freedom must be spread across Mars. Come, fight with me. Let us end this oppression and free all of our brothers who remain in chains. Only then can they experience the same peace and happiness that we have made for ourselves. Zachariah, we must talk. About what? This is your safe house. The ASC could not reach you here, correct? That's the hope. But consider this. Even if Victor could not reach you here, how many times has he tried to impede you, to track you? You've already had to escape from his grasp twice. Perhaps the time has come to be less passive, to gather your allies and take the offensive for once. Word of the power he accumulates in the People's Assembly of Abundance is terrifying. I speak not of violence, but perhaps of some other way to bring him down. With all that you have done for so many, I am certain many would be more than willing to come to your aid, and even more invigorated when that aid will bring such a tyrant to his knees. You have our support, the Techomancers, and any others you can gather. And from the great heights to which he has climbed, the fall will be tremendous. He will not recover. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is time to take the offensive. He's got a point, you know. Maybe you should talk to your captain. I mean, how long's the ASC been fucking over the army? They gotta be fed up with them by now, no? I mean, the fucking army'd be a great damn ally in Ophir. Not that there aren't others in Ophir who'd be happy to give us their support, but... Not really the kind of pricks I want to get in bed with, you know? You talking about Anton and the Vori? I sure as hell wasn't talking about my grandma. 